Hi friends, I'm Chelsea and I'm here with a little free library video. So I thought it would be fun to do just a little unhaul. I just went through my shelves and picked like eight to 10 books that I'm not wanting to keep and then go out to some local little free libraries and swap some books out. So yeah, I have a little stack of books here that I'm just gonna show you real quick. And then the rest of the video will be uh, me just out and about going to some libraries and hopefully finding some good books and trading some books so other people can read the books that I bring. So yeah, I just picked a couple books off my shelves that either I don't see myself reading or that I already read and don't really want to keep. So the first one is A Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. And I've heard decent things about this one, I guess, but I'm not that interested. And also I just don't love this copy. I might have actually found it from another little free library. So I figure if I want to read this book, I could probably get the audiobook or borrow it from Libby. So yeah, I just don't love this, this physical copy of it. So that's why. And I'm not particularly interested in the book. So, okay, next up I have A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway, which I think I read, let's see, I got, I got about halfway. I don't know when I read this, maybe like college or something. And I don't know if Ernest Hemingway is for me. He's obviously a classic writer. And this one was interesting because it is um, like a memoir of his time in Paris. And I actually studied abroad in Paris in college. And so I really love like Paris and just French culture and all that. But um, yeah, I just don't think I'm gonna read this book or finish this book. So maybe someone else will, will enjoy it. Okay, this one is um, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. It's just like a self-help nonfiction, jumpstart your income, your life, your success. And I'm like, okay, whatever. That's not really something I'm gonna read probably. So yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> um, this is Things I Wish I'd Known Before We Got Married by Gary Chapman. And I'm pretty sure that my husband and I read this book uh, when we were engaged, or I read it at least, and I think I probably got some good things out of it, but at this point we've been married for over five years now, so it's not really relevant, and someone else will probably enjoy this, you know, so passing it along. Next up we have Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, and I love this book, but I got a big like Jane Austen anthology recently. Um, you've probably seen it in my other videos because I'm obsessed with it. So I figure I don't really need an extra copy of this when it's already in my anthology. So this will be a fun little find for someone, I'm sure. It's a great book. Okay, this one is kind of funny because you may or may not remember this was in my first, not my first, my second video of my book haul, I got this one from Goodwill and it was like $2. And I just literally picked it up because I was like, oh, I've seen this cover before. It's a Reese's Book Club pick. I've heard of the title. I didn't read anything about it. And then I read about it later and I don't know. It's just like not a book that I think I'm going to be interested in. There's like some sort of like cheating, infidelity stuff. Maybe that's not the main thing, but it just seems like maybe not for me. If you read this one, let me know if it's worth keeping. I might just take it in case I find a book that looks more interesting. Okay, this one I've had for a while. This is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. I think I also got this one from a little free library. It's kind of um, it's worn down a little bit. And I have not read this one and I might read it. I'm not that interested in it. Like I feel like it's a book that is just gonna sit on my shelf and I'm not gonna grab it. Again, if I do end up wanting to read this one day, I can get it from the library. But yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't really like call out to me. Last couple of books, um, these are just other ones to kind of take. I've also talked about these. These were all ARCs that I picked up in other little free libraries and I could take or leave them. I might read them, I may not, but I figure, again, it can't hurt to take them with me in case I do find a book that's interesting and I want to swap it out because I don't want to take a book without leaving one. So yeah, I talked about these. A Lady for a Duke. I might keep this one because I do like historical romance, but um, we'll see. And then this one I'm probably the least interested in, Runtime. It's like a thriller about movie making, like, I don't know. It's kind of long too, so. And then this one I might also keep, Booth. This does sound interesting. But again, if I go and I find a book that seems like 
that catches my eye more than some of these, then I just want to have something to trade and leave for someone else. So we will see how my little free library search goes. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we are about to head out to some little free libraries. I have my baby in the background, so you might hear some, some cute baby sounds. And it's very cold and windy. This might have been a mistake, but we're doing it. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you the libraries when I get there and we'll see what we find. So see you there. So I forgot to film anything besides the first little free library. Um, yeah, my bad. So I am at the second location, but um, I just wanted to say it feels weird filming in front of people's houses or just even walking up to a little free library in front of their house. So just got to get over that awkwardness. This next one is also in front of a house, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, the first one was good. There were some good selections there. They had Where the Crawdads Sing, which I own and love but that's a fun one to see and they had a couple other titles that I'd heard of before and I did take one. I'm not going to show what I took until the end because I think the surprise element is fun. So yes, I took one and I left the Ernest Hemingway book. So I think for this one, I am going to bring The Husband's Secret and see if I find something. So here we go. mostly kids stuff we're around the corner from a school I think so that probably explains that um, I did leave the book because they only had one other um, like adult novel I guess so there will be two adult novels now and yeah we're just gonna keep the search going I'm like at the top of a mountain here so this is cool probably can't see yeah no that that was a fail okay so yeah 
this is the cutest, tiniest little free library. So I'm gonna bring this little book in. I don't even know if there'll be room or if there's any books in it, but we'll see. On my way out from the last little free library I got stuck behind a FedEx truck on basically a one-way road and the FedEx driver had like 10 huge packages that she was loading onto someone's porch so I just got to sit behind her and watch wait patiently it's fine this isn't urgent but yeah that was fun uh, I don't know if the book that I found was worth it but we'll see so that had a small selection there was a book in there that I already have and a couple books that I've heard of, so yeah. And this one we're at, I think I've been to before and I got a book from, so we'll see if they have a good one here. So let's see what's going on. So great but it's all good there are a lot of little free libraries around town and I could spend all day driving which I will not be doing but yeah so I haven't picked anything up since the last <laughs> and now there's like a vehicle trying to pick up branches from the ground or something in front of me so I can't drive forward today is the day of roadblocks I guess Maybe it's a sign that I should have stayed home, but you know, it's fine. I still have like seven books that I could trade, so um, I could hit several more if I can even drive anymore, or I'll just maybe be stuck here all day. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. baby meltdown I think she was not happy to just be in the car while I'm doing stuff makes sense started driving and she's good but this might end 
sooner than I thought. So we'll see if I can squeeze one or two more in and then it's time to go home and be a good mom, not just driving all around looking for books. So I found one and it's super cute and tiny. So I'm going to show you. returned home from my little free library search so I kind of went fast at the end and didn't record much because yeah had to get the baby home I ended up driving further than I thought so I had to drive back home so I think I ended up leaving like six books maybe I still have a couple that I did not take and I ended up with five books. Also, sorry if the footage for some of the libraries was not great. It's really hard to hold a book in my hand and open the door and hold the phone and get all the things, you know, I need like a third hand or a camera person, that would be better. But yeah, so hopefully you can see all the books and get a good feel for the libraries. But yeah, so I'm just gonna tell you what books I got and that'll be it. So this is the first one I got. This is Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward. And I have heard of this book and this author, I think she just came out with a new book called Let Us Descend, but this one came out in like 2017 or something. And yeah, she's a black author and this is set in Mississippi. It says part ghost story, part road novel. This historic National Book Award winner is a dazzling journey through Mississippi's past and present and an epic tale of hope and survival. So I'm very interested in this and was excited to see this. This was at the very first one, so good start. Okay, the next one is John Green, Paper Towns. So he wrote The Fault in Our Stars. Ironically enough, I found another one of his books the last time I went Little Free Library hunting. I got The Anthropocene Revealed, which is like essays and stuff. So this is like YA fiction and I don't know anything about like the story itself. I just know that this is one of his popular books and I figured again, why not? Okay, next up we have Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. So I read Tom Lake and I really enjoyed it. And I've heard of this book. Um, this also has won several awards. I think it's an older book of hers. Tom Lake is her newest one. Yeah, this is 2001. So we're going, we're going way back here. And yeah, it's set in South America and it follows like a soprano, like an opera singer. And yeah, then it like kind of takes a turn. There's like terrorists that take the party hostage and then it kind of like chronicles what, what happens from there. So sounds kind of, kind of crazy, but interesting. And yeah, I've just heard really good things and I liked Tom Lake, so I'm excited to read more of her books. Okay, next I found Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I'm pretty sure I picked this up from another Little Free Library in the past, didn't read it and took it back, but I still am interested in the book and I like this hardcover copy. 
Maybe having the pretty hardcover version will make me more excited to read it and own it. So little fires everywhere. And last but not least, we have The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towles. I was surprised to see this one. Um, this is a really nice copy too. So he wrote A Gentleman in Moscow, which is also on my list. I have heard good things about both. And this one is like historical fiction. This is set in 1950s in America, in Nebraska. And I think there's a romance, so love that. And yeah. I was very happy to find this one and that is it so I got five books and like I said I traded five or six books as well so we'll see if I get to these but I'm excited to have some new books on my shelf so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more bookish videos like this and I'll see you in my next video bye